have been talking a lot about objects and materials. We've been talking about glass, metal, plastics, wood, soil, about solids and liquids, and how each of them have a different properties. One of the important properties of an object or material is whether it can sink or float in water. Sink means when you put the material in water, it goes straight to the bottom. Float means it stays on or near the surface. This morning when I came to the school, I saw a big duck in our pond. I'm sure it was heavy, yet it did not sink. That's when I thought I should check with different materials whether they sink or float in water. Come join me in my lab. So I have collected different objects and materials. Let's see them. So we have some metal coins, some marbles made of glass, a bottle cap which is made of plastic, sand which is a type of soil, a piece of stick which is wood, some oil, and a dishwash liquid. We'll start with coin. It sinks in the water. The next is glass marbles. They also sink. A piece of wood floats. The plastic bottle cap Floats, sand, These small particles, but they sink. Let's try with oil. Oh, did you see that? Oil first went inside the water, but then all the drops came back to the surface. Oil floats on water. See what happens to the dishwash liquid. It sinks to the bottom. This experiment shows us which objects and materials sink or float in water for the materials that I have collected. Why don't you also try with different materials and objects? You might need a bigger trough for bigger objects. From this experiment, you have learned that different materials and objects have a property to sink or float in water. It does not depend on whether they are solids or liquids, whether they are big or small. Whether a material or an object floats or sinks in water depends on something else. But more about that next time. Bye.